We're integrating with this technology. You know, when I was at MIT, the computer was across campus, took up the floor of a building, now we carry it in our pockets, on our belts. They're moving onto our eyes and our ears. Some people have them in their, in their brains, like Parkinson's patients. They can act, the Parkinson patient can actually download new software to the computer connected into their brain from outside the patient. It's pea size, so it requires minimally invasive surgery, but another exponential trend is the shrinking of technology. I've measured it at about a rate of 100 in 3D volume per decade. So these will be blood cell size by the 2030s. So we'll have millions, billions of blood cell size computers in our bloodstream in the 2030s, keeping us healthy, augmenting our immune system, and also going into the brain, putting our neocortex on the cloud, basically expanding our neocortex into the cloud. So today, if you need to do a complex search and you need 10,000 computers for two seconds, you can access that in the cloud. In, the 20, in 2035, I see somebody approaching me. Uh, I want to impress them. I need to think of something clever. I've got two seconds. My 300 million pattern recognizers in my neocortex isn't going to cut it. Uh, and I need a billion or 10 billion for two seconds. Just the way today I can access 10,000 computers in the cloud, I'll be able to access additional neocortex and think of something clever. And we will expand our neocortex. And if you remember what happened the last time we expanded our neocortex when we developed these big foreheads. Mm, I don't as, remember particularly, <laughs> but uh, you, you remi uh, remind, remind us if you would. Well, two million years ago, humanoids came on the scene. We had these big foreheads, so we had this frontal cortex, which is where we do our high-level thinking, language, art, science, uh, journalism. Um, <laughs> that, that, was a, that was a very primitive stage of development, I think. It's, uh, yeah. And, well, actually, storytelling was our first uh, invention. Um, and one of the points I make in my book is that the, neo the frontal cortex is actually no different than other parts of our neocortex. And it, it's an additional quantity of neocortex. But that additional quantity was the enabling factor for us to invent language and art and science. And we're going we're gonna to expand the quantity again by basically expanding our neocortex into the cloud. Uh, and that will be another quantitative expansion which will lead to another qualitative Leap. And if you go out to 2045, so finally I'm getting to the singularity, so as I say, it's not one soundbite, um, we will have expanded our unenhanced intelligence a billion fold. And that's such a profound uh, expansion that we borrow this metaphor from physics and call it a singularity. So what, is, what's the diff what, is that, what does it mean? What, what does the singularity produce? It produces, it produces machines that are self not only, not, not only smarter than, 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 human, than the human brain, but are actually able to accelerate the degree of, accelerant, uh, of, of, well, of we are, progress. We are smart. I mean, we're smarter today. I mean, I see it myself. I mean, I wrote my last book in four months. My first book took five years because we didn't have these brain standards, standards. I can have a group now of two, three people in a couple of weeks do what used to require hundreds of people years. We're smarter, more productive, more effective because of the brain ex expanders we have. Uh, my view is that this is not creating these machines out there and it's going to be us versus them, but we are expanding our own capability. Uh, that's why we created these tools. I couldn't reach that fruit at that higher branch 2,000 years ago, so we, extend, we created a tool that expand, extended our physical reach. And we, are now, we can now create skyscrapers. We can command all of human knowledge with a few keystrokes. So, we expand our reach and we're going to continue to do that. We're going to integrate with these technologies.